when you first enter the world of automated testing, you might be overwhelmed with some of the terminology. Unit tests, instrumented tests, mocking. It can be a little daunting to even start to learn about testing. If you're watching this video, you're probably looking for an answer to one simple question. How do I start adding tests to my app? Don't worry, that's what Android testing patterns is all about. But please, bear with me. Let's start with some basics. This is the testing pyramid. It represents the various levels or types of tests you can add to your app. Unit tests are perhaps the most basic type of tests, but basic is not the same as unimportant. In fact, they should form the foundation of your whole test strategy. That's why they sit at the bottom of the pyramid. Unit tests verify the correctness of the smallest units of your code, such as methods and classes, in isolation from the rest of the code base, or even the platform they will be running on. In fact, you can actually run unit tests for Android apps on your computer, thanks to support from Android Studio and Gradle. If it's unclear to you why you should test code in isolation from Android, think of it this way. How can you even begin to check if your banking app, for example, runs on an Android device without first making sure that basic business logic, such as currency conversions or calculating an account balance, work correctly? But you are writing an Android app after all. So you need to be able to test how your code behaves on a real device or emulator. And that's when you'd want to use instrumentation tests. Why do we call them instrumentation or instrumented tests? Instrumentation is an Android framework component that provides additional monitoring and control over the application under test. Through the use of instrumentation, we can run tests on a real device or emulator alongside your app's code. How does that work? Well, the test that you write will be packaged into a separate APK and installed as part of the connected Android test Gradle task or when running tests in Android Studio. They will then be executed in your app's process by an instrumentation runner. We provide a runner implementation that is compatible with JUnit 4 tests as part of the Android testing support library, or ATSL. To use it, make sure you have the newest version of Android support repository installed within your SDK. The ATSL comes with a great UI testing framework called Espresso that I will focus on in the next few episodes of Android testing patterns. It also contains JUnit 4 rules that can automatically start activities and services for your tests. Now, I'm sure you're all eager to see some testing in action, so be sure to click through to the next video where I show you how to run your first Espresso test.